guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are trying the purple mccart poly gel kit this kit comes with dual forms a 180 grit hand file a poly gel brush with a brush on one side and a spatula on the other nail surface cleanser or slip solution base coat top coat four different poly gels the first color is clear The next color is this light purple lavender color. The next color is this medium purple. And the last color is this dark purple color that is also a jelly, so it's kind of transparent. Here are these swatches and let's get right into this nail set. So here are my natural nails. We're just gonna first start off by pushing back the cuticles. And I'm taking this circle bit on my e-file and just going around the cuticle to remove any of that excess dead skin on the nail plate then i'm taking my nail clippers and clipping down the growth of my nails as well as taking my hand file and smoothing out the free edge as well as removing the shine from the nails after dusting them off i'm just taking these tips that i got on amazon and sizing them out then i'm going to take my kds glue and then glue on all the tips Next, I'm taking my nail clippers and cutting these nail tips into a stiletto shape. Even though they're already in a stiletto shape, I wanted them to be a little bit shorter. Then I'm taking my hand file and just shaping these nails into a more crisp stiletto shape. Here's how the nails are looking after I have shaped them and removed the shine from the tips. I'm just going to take some base coat and paint a thin layer on all of the nails and then cure that in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. After the base coat has been applied, I'm just taking some of the slip solution and my poly gel brush as well as the darkest shade of purple which is also the jelly color and I'm going to put a bead at the tip of my nail and then dip my brush into the slip solution and pat that around to fit the tip. Since this poly gel is jelly and you can see through it, that's not what I was really going for but I forgot that it was jelly so I decided to go in with some glitter over top of the poly gel. So I started off making this nail into two beads but I didn't cure the first bead like I normally would and I just added the cuticle bead into the uncured first bead of poly gel. It's basically like I just did one bead and then I applied the glitter to the uncured poly gel because I didn't really want it to be this see-through so I had to improvise and just put glitter over it. <laughs> now I'm taking the glitter from Born Pretty and I'm just putting that over the entire nail. And then I'm going to cure that in my nail lamp. Then I'm going to encapsulate it with the purple poly gel. And since it's jelly, you can see the glitters through perfectly and it has a little bit of a purple tint to it. So this is the first time I am doing a stiletto set on myself. I wasn't sure how it was gonna be because um, I've never done it on myself. And I was kind of making this set, like I didn't really have a plan for this set in mind. All I knew is that I wanted to do it kind of like a ombre, but across the different fingers ombre. Like, like the thumb has the darkest color and the pinky has the lightest color kind of thing. That's kind of my plan was, but I I didn't really know what I was doing for this set. So after the nail is constructed, I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to move on to my pointer finger and I'm taking this medium purple color and then putting that at the tip of my nail and then fitting that to the tip. So after curing the first bead, I'm going in with my cuticle bead. I'm just dragging that up into the cured poly gel, as well as smoothing out the apex area. After 
with cleaning around the cuticle, I'm just gonna cure that in my nail lamp. And so far, I'm liking the stiletto shape, to be honest. And now I'm going to move on to my middle finger. I'm just taking the lavender color and putting a bead at the tip of my nail and smoothing that out, just like the pointer finger. And then after I cured that first bead, I'm going in with the cuticle bead. So guys, I missed my posting schedule. I didn't upload yesterday, which was Thursday. Feels a little strange to miss a day, but I was doing something important. Something important, you know, for this channel. And you guys will know soon enough. And unfortunately, I'm a procrastinator. I just waited to edit till the last minute. So once it was the last minute, I didn't have any time left. So I couldn't edit the video. My editing schedule has been messed up. I'm doing a voiceover in the morning, which I never do because my voice sounds really scratchy once I first wake up so i don't like to do the voiceover in the morning um so i usually do my editing at night to be honest and i need to get my editing schedule like back in order i need to edit during the day or at night even but not in the morning i don't i don't like doing the voiceover in the morning my voice sounds too scratchy but i was a day late on editing so i'm trying to get this video up for you today on friday So onto the ring finger, I'm doing the same thing that I did on the thumbnail. Applied a layer of the purple poly gel and then placed the glitter on and then encapsulated it with the poly gel again. nail i'm just taking a bead of the medium purple color and i accidentally put too much poly gel so i just brought it down all the way into the cuticle instead of doing two beads i just did one bead the texture of this poly gel is pretty good i mean my cart is a little bit stiff and sticky but it's not anything like annoying like it's it feels like just a nice good regular poly gel and the colors are really nice i'm glad that this kit came with the jelly color even though i didn't use it as jelly color but i'm glad it did come with it because you can do many different styles with that So after the poly gel has been applied, I'm just taking some of that slip solution or nail surface cleanser and then cleaning off that tacky layer of the nails. And then I'm taking my dust collector and my hand file and reshaping these nails into a nice stiletto shape. So if you're interested in this kit, if you're liking what you're seeing, I have a code from a cart. It's Nails by Vic. You can use the link in my description. You can get this kit, you can get whatever you want, and you'll get 15% off your order if you use my code. I do get a small commission, so if you want to help us this out, that'd be great because what I have in the works, you know, this thing that made me miss editing, it's, it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> you guys can probably guess what it is. I kind of gave you a little hint on my Instagram. <laughs> but if you are interested in this kit or anything from my cart, I have the link in my description and you can use my code. So after I'm done shaping, I'm just going to go over with my buffer that's not really a buffer, but I'm just going to buff the nails. And here are how the nails are looking after they have been shaped and buffed. They look so good already. Oh my god. 
So next I wanted to add some bling. I'm taking some of the clear poly gel and putting that near my cuticle of my pointer finger and I'm just smoothing that out. And then without curing it, I'm gonna take my top coat and top coat the entire nail. I'm using some bling from thekunails.com. Kunails on Instagram. I'm using some bling from Amazon and some bling from a Gershon kit. I didn't really go too in depth with what I was doing for the bling design because I didn't really know what I was doing. So I just kind of did whatever I felt would look good and yeah. So next we're going to take some top coat and we're just going to top coat the rest of these nails. in with my dipped and dusted nails cuticle oil she sent this to me for free if you're interested in some nice smelling cuticle oil link in my description here are how the nails turned out i think they turned out so good we need to take a moment and appreciate how good these nails look i have not done a stiletto set on myself but i feel like i've been missing out what have i been doing i've just been doing tapered square coffin shape i don't even know what shape it is honestly but i've been doing rectangular shapes i should have been doing stiletto this whole time it's it's honestly become one of my new favorites like look how good it looks here's how the set turned out i hope you guys enjoyed this set it's a basic simple set some glitter some bling and multicolored. I honestly think it turned out way better than I thought it was going to because the colors just worked so well together. All right, if you guys are interested in this kit, remember there's a link in my description. Use my code NAILSBYVIC, you can get 15% off. I think this kit is worth it. These colors look so good. The poly gel worked really nicely. And I do like that it came with a jelly color because you can do a lot with that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sorry, this is a Friday vid and not a Thursday vid. I will get back in order. I will see you guys next time.